Welcome back to my channel. It's Winnie BLB, Mouth of the South. No intro, no outro, girl. Just this ho. Ooh, today I am unboxing or unveiling, revealing, if you will. My boobs. Kidding. Okay, I'm not going to touch that, but you can. I am revealing jewelry. As the thumbnail said, more Cartier jewelry. And I have an unboxing from the Coach Outlet. I know, since I've been able to maneuver myself around their system, metal fingers, right? <laughs> so yeah, I have that. Of course, there'll be a little story time at the end. Uh, so wait for that, don't go anywhere. Uh, let's see, bag of the day. Girl, y'all already know it's this fancy biatch. I have named her. <laughs> it's Meredith Dale. So, after the two people that heavily influenced me the most when buying Fendi. Uh, yeah, so Meredith Dale, that is her name. She is a stunna. You know what I noticed about her? Can you guys see this? The little FFs, I mean the detail on this, the little FFs on the zipper. They thought of everything. Okay, no lipstick on her. Scent of the day is this Mason Margiela Jazz Club. It is so good. Um, you can see the dent I've kind of put in this because I like it. I wear it at night too. It's unisex, very, very unisex, so your man can wear it. It smells different on Bill than it does on me. It's very boozy. Um, as the name suggests, Jazz Club, it does really smell. It gives you that sort of scent memory, and then it dries down in something, into something that's a little powdery and pretty and gorgeous and beautiful. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's leathery. Um, you know, it's boozy and also smoky, like cigar or whatever. Yeah, it's good. It is. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, let me do another. Oh gosh, yes! Who is she? Okay. Okay, I have to edit this part in, but, uh, <laughs> I meant to say that I promised you guys a, um, uh, a video with more jewelry, like a jewelry haul. Hello, I can't think. And the thing is that I was expecting some Julia jewelry, which did not come by the time that I did the recording. So that is going to come up in my next video, if it comes this week. So, uh, story of my life, that's just how I roll. You know, some things show up, sometimes they don't. Sometimes you feel like a nut. <laughs> I always do feel like one. Um, you guys know what I'm trying to say there. And I didn't tell you this in the video, but... I can say whatever I want today because <laughs> I'm all alone in my house. Like, there's no grandkids. I'm not babysitting. My daughter is out with a friend on the lake. Um, my husband is actually way up on a mountain doing a job. So, yeah, I'm all by myself. So, I just thought, well, I'll just put Bob down, my battery-operated boyfriend, give him a break and record a video. <laughs> okay, back into it. I'm just gonna have fun today. Probably not a long video, but then I say that and 30 minutes later we're over here like, oh, this bitch won't shut up. Okay, so let's just do, here's my Cartier new purchase. Girl, I'm so excited to see that, but I really want to see this. This is a Coach Outlet bag and I blame Dawn. We always have to blame somebody. I mean, Put the blame on Dawn this time. Uh, she sent me a picture of this, and it was actually on sale with another 15. So I think I got this bag. Y'all know my pricing is never right. I will tell you a price and then go back and go, oh my God, what was she thinking? <laughs> but I want to say it was around 115. Let's hope I'm right. Probably not. Okay. Tales of a Shopaholic. Okay, so... <laughs> She's all wrapped up with somewhere to go. Oh my gosh. This in the picture was so friggin' cute. Let's just see if she... Oh, she lives up to everything. Yes. So these little cinch bags, I have always had 
a little bit of a, I mean, a thing. I was going to say a bad word. I, I've always had a, 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 God, I can't, not that word, a <laughs> obsession place in my heart. There we go, guys. I don't know what she's thinking. Who does she think she is talking nasty today? I mean, nothing's changed since last time then, right? But look how freaking cute. Now you can take this little strap on off. Strap on, boom, boom, strap off. Exactly. Here come the crossbody strap wrapped. But look at this bag, how friggin' cute. It's one of those little cinch bags. So, you know, I can come in and cinch it up a little bit right here. Now y'all know I love these kind of bags. Like, you know, I've got that bucket right there. I've got that no a pouch i have up top way up top i have a little uh prada pouch nylon moment that me and gwenny bought at the same time so yeah i am about this and i think there's a trend on the totes that do a little cinching right now in little bucket bags i've seen people moving to that a little bit so not that that look at the tassels i didn't even know this was a thing okay little tassels on each side oh wow i love i love this is so freaking cute but i want it to cinch up girl i want it to i want it to cinch oh man she is adorable let's take this monstrosity atrocity off of here okay let's take her off oh did i cut myself now Okay, finally, the ceramic blade did its thing. Oh, yeah. Can you guys see her? Wow. I love this. And for so freaking cheap. Yes, I will crossbody this. I'll even top handle her. I don't care. And I mean it this time, guys. I'm not just whistling Dixie. You know what I mean? I'm not just Dixie whistling. I am seriously going to carry this bag. <laughs> I know when I buy coach bags, you guys are like... Yeah, you unbox the coach bag, we never see it again, and then two months later you say you sold it. Okay, 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 okay. This does happen, but only on the bags that get sold out, and I see that people are, you know, making their money back. Is it bad? It is, because I buy a little too many things, and ugh. I don't do it all the time, but yes, I've been known. She's been known. She's that bitch. Okay. Still listen to a lot of Lizzo. This week, I think her new album drops. So, yeah, I'm excited about that. I think it's a couple days from now. This is Wednesday, by the way. I hope you're having a good hump day. So, it does have this strap. Let's do a quick autumn spin on this. Was I up too high? Okay. I've been known to be too high, girl. All right. Yes, I love. I love, I love, I love. Ooh, I'm about this. I am about this freaking bag. So let's see what the price tag would have been. <laughs> 378. That's a weird number. 378. No, not today, you devil. Ooh, I love it. It's got little magnetic let me show you inside guys it's like a oxblood and oxblood canvasy material inside silky like jacquard almost Ooh, she's cute got her little coach tag here oh i love i absolutely do love it that is gonna hang on me like i don't even know what <sighs> the leather on this thing is nice now, they have it in a bigger model that is in a white and black. If it's still available, uh, it's white with the black trim. If that's still available, I will, of course, I'll link anything like this that's still available. What do they call this bag? I call her sugar. <laughs> it's called the Leather Andy. Yep, in the, I guess, the crossbody. So the other day, remember, I was showing you all this bag, which I have not carried uh, anyway. Uh, and it had, it says Signature T, J for Jacquard, RBY Ruby, and then it said STCH18, and I was like, Stitch! It stands for Satchel. I mean, I said a lot of crazy. I think I called, didn't I call this 
the pillow tabby I call that a Cassie like girl sometimes she just has senior moments and there you go I'm close to you know getting that old packet of pens voice pads <laughs> I'm kidding only when I cough okay you ready this is probably what we came for um that's what she said <laughs> It is this Cartier something. Well, you guys probably know. So, vlog sale, I thought, you know, I sold all this stuff. I'll be real good and save money for vacation and, and do this and that. No, she bought crap. She just went out and just bought all kinds of shit. She really did. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. I'm lying to myself, but um, I won't lie to y'all. I, I pretty much spent all the bag money that I made and the stuff I sold. I, I, I'm just that beat. I can't stop myself, guys. So anyway, it did come with its little, its little Cartier diploma who says, you've graduated from the college. I can't get that by on you twice, can I? But yeah, it's the little certificate. And notice that it is in Japanese because I bought this from a Japanese seller. Now remember my uh, existing love ring that I bought from Fashion File for like $9.50? Are y'all ready for this? Wait till I show you, okay. She's got to come, and all this stuff came with her, okay? Okay, what, take two? Oh no! Take two! Hold on, okay, here we go. <laughs> So yes, I had pressed the button by holding the box too tight, and guys, I just love to hold a box really tight. That's just me. I like my box held tight too. Whoa, she said it nasty. Okay, this little thing comes down to the reveal of, I know, put down in the comment what you think. I'm not going to do that because you already kind of saw what it was, but here she is. It is the white gold love ring. Remember I said I wanted to be like Yota? I do. And now I am, wait, I think she has three. Oh God, am I gonna have to go? I can't afford it guys, this is it for me. So now I have the love ring in the white gold. Yes girl. And I have it in the yellow gold, what? Who is she? Freaking Lady Gaga or something or what? Oh, I feel so, ooh, I feel so giddy with excitement. So someone asked me about the sizing of these rings. Now I have sausage fingers. I really have fat fingers. Even when I am not fat, I, and I have been thin a couple times, it's not happened to me much, but on the rare occasion that I've lost enough weight to be thin, um, my fingers still very fat sausage fingers so yeah i was just blessed with chubby toes and chubby hands and chubby cheeks and chubby okay yeah you get it uh speaking of chubby no i'm kidding uh but this one is actually smaller because this one is a size i bought a nine and a half which equals a 61 in the cartier pr um pricing uh sizing and so you can see it just goes on and off with ease. There's no stopping at the knuckle. I mean, she's, you know, like <laughs> I can't go there, right? Um, but this one I got a quarter of a size down. So this one is like a 60 and three quarters or something. So I got this like a little bit, maybe even a half a size down. But, and you can see that it is just a little smaller, um, but yeah, I did that because I wanted this one to stack on the outside. So it looks good, right? Oh, yes, girl, yes. Lotion, she should. All right, so that is my, it's not even a haul. That's just my two reveals today. Um, Y'all know I was gonna do it. Oh, the pricing on this. So I'll link the seller down below. Yes, I will link this seller down below. Um, I think it's called prosperity oh, it starts with a p i don't know i'm gonna link it down below but um purpose i think it's purpose i can't okay i cannot remember but it came with their logo and wrapped in their 
you know, we, we trust a Japanese seller all day, every day, a reseller on eBay, but uh, $707. I think he was asking $735, and I was like, please give me a discount. It was one of those things where make an offer. People aren't really serious usually about that. They're like, yeah, we'll give you $2 off. Make an offer. Five offers later, you're like, wow, you wanted me to make an offer, right? So anyway, uh, I did make a very low ball offer. They scoffed at that like, Psh. Who do you think you are? So then I said, hey, can you just offer me any discount on this? And he was like, yeah, I'll give you, um, I think it was like, what, $22 or whatever it was. It was like $7.35 and then I got it for $7.07. So was that $23? Guys, I don't, you know, I, I don't know math. $35, $26. Okay, so I got some savings on this. <laughs> God, I'm so stupid. All right, you guys, listen, I hope you have a great rest of the week. Um, Saturday, I have a tag video that I am going to do. Uh, I was tagged by Jesse Style. I think the tag was created by Kael. Uh, what your bag collection will look like in 10 years, your prediction of your bags in 10 years. I haven't even sat and thought about it, but I just thought it looked good, and Dale did it too, so... Uh, definitely come back for Saturday's video, and um, if you could do me one big, huge favor, and if y'all see my husband seriously, please don't tell him nothing. Bye. Bill, okay, when I say don't tell him nothing, listen to me when I say like, he got really ticked off the other night about my shopping. It, you know what, what brings him down is, is the constant uh, when he goes out and gets packages. And sometimes he'll bring in, you know, six, seven packages and just plop them down. And, you know, and I think that's what happened. It was like over the weekend. And he's like, I mean, he yelled. Girl, he yelled at me. He was like, you're one perfume bottle away from putting us in the poor house, girl. <laughs> I was like, babe, babe, I'm going to need you to calm down. I see that you're upset, and I feel like you think my shopping problem is your fault. And trust me, it's not you, babe. It's me. It's me. Seriously, I need you to calm down and just take that all, that shopping addiction that I have problem, and toss it on the pile of all my other existing problems, okay? Let me deal with it. Yes, right over there on that pile. Mm hmm On the pile of shoes, new perfumes, t-shirts, and a couple of new bags. <laughs> he did not like that. Yeah, so then I was like, just calm down and let it go. Let it go. We don't talk about shopping, no, no. We don't talk about shopping. That's what I said. I really did sing that to him. Oh, okay, Bill, go ahead and take my debit cards. That's fine. I have them memorized. Biatch! <laughs> yes!